Good afternoon, everyone. For joining us uh, today, we will be starting our public hearing on streets and services. Uh, we do have a quorum to my left, Councilman Toppenberger, Councilman Greenlee, to my right, Councilman Bass, and Councilman O. And Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the first bill. Bill number 170359, an ordinance establishing a no truck parking regulation on the 28 and 2900 blocks of East Allegheny Avenue, both sides. N Nick, just state your name for the record and then proceed with your testimony. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. My name is Nick Sinsurik, District Traffic Engineer for the Department of Streets. I'm here today to offer testimony on bill number 170359. The Department of Streets has no objections to this bill. We can have the signs for this regulation posted within 30 days. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. I would be happy to answer any questions you may have at this time. Thank you. And noting this testimonial bill, bill as amended, is there any questions? Seeing none, is there anyone else here to testify on bill number 170359 as amended? Seeing none, Ms. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170466, an ordinance establishing a no truck parking regulation on both sides of the 44 and 4500 blocks of Castor Avenue from Wyoming Avenue to East Cayuga Street. Please proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. My name is Nick Sensurik, District Traffic Engineer for the Department of Streets. I'm here today to offer testimony on bill number 170466. The Department of Streets has no objections to this bill. We can have the signs for this regulation posted within 30 days. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. I will be happy to answer any questions you may have at this time. Any questions? Seeing none, anyone else here to testify on bill number 170466 as amended? Seeing none, Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170360, an ordinance terminating a no parking regulation on the Burnside Street between Tower Street and a point approximately 140 feet west thereof. Thank you. Dave, please state your name for the record and proceed with your testimony. Good morning. My name is David DeLugos. I'm the District Traffic Engineer for the Department of Streets. I'm here today to offer testimony on Bill number 170360. The Department of Streets has no objections. This regulation was terminated on a trial basis beginning August 10th, 2016. Thank you for, um, for the opportunity to appear. I'll be happy to take any questions. Thank you. Any questions? Seeing none, anyone else here to testify on bill number 170360? Seeing none, Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170361, ordinance establishing a no parking regulation on Fox Street between Roberts Avenue and Abbotsford Avenue East Side. Please proceed. Okay. My name is David DeLugos. I'm District Traffic Engineer for the Department of Streets. I'm here today to offer testimony on bill number 170361. The Department of Streets has no objections to this bill. This regulation was established on a trial basis beginning November the 10th, 2016. Um, thank you for the opportunity. Before I'd be happy to take any questions. Any questions? Seeing none, anyone else here to testify on bill number 170361? Seeing none, Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170362, an ordinance establishing a no parking regulation on Flat Rock Road between Leverington Avenue and Fountain Street, East Side. Please proceed. Uh, good afternoon. My name is David DeLugos. I'm the District Traffic Engineer for the Department of Streets. I'm here today to offer testimony on Bill number 170362. The Department of Streets has no objections to this bill. This regulation was established on a trial basis beginning on November 22nd, 2016. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. I'd be happy to take, uh, answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Any questions? Seeing none, anyone else here to testify on bill number 170362? Thank you for your testimony. Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170472, an ordinance authorizing 2732 Donna's Bar, Inc. to install, own, and maintain an open air sidewalk cafe at 2732 East Allegheny Avenue, Philadelphia, PA 19134, under certain terms and conditions. Thank you, Saint. You just state your name for the record and then proceed with your testimony. Good afternoon, Chairman Squilla's, Squilla and members of the Streets and Services Committee. My name is St. Martin Torrance. I'm Director of Legislative Affairs for the Department of Streets. I'm here to offer testimony on Bill number 170472 as amended. 
This bill authorizes Donna's Bar, Inc. to construct, own, and maintain an open-air sidewalk cafe at 2732 East Allegheny Avenue. Um, my testimony is submitted. The Shreves Department does not have any uh, opposition to this encroachment. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Very, uh, very good testimony. Um, any questions? Seeing none, anyone else here to testify on bill number 170472? Seeing none, Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170473, an ordinance authorizing B1 Holdings to install, own, and maintain an open-air sidewalk cafe at 767 South 9th Street, Philadelphia, PA 19147, under certain terms and conditions. Good afternoon, Chairman Squill and members of the Streets and Services Committee. My name is St. Martin Torrance. I'm the Director of Legislative Affairs for the Department of Streets. I'm here to offer testimony on bill number 170473 as amended. Um, my testimony is submitted. Um, the Streets Department does not have any opposition to this encroachment. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Any questions? Seeing none, anyone else here to testify on bill number 170473? Seeing none, Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170474, an ordinance authorizing 1338 Inc. to install, all, to install, own, and maintain an open air sidewalk cafe at 1338-40 South 10th Street, Philadelphia, PA 19147, under certain terms and conditions. Good afternoon, Chairman Squill and members of the Streets and Services Committee. My name is St. Moran Torrance. I'm the Director of Legislative Affairs for the Department of Streets. I'm here to offer testimony on Bill Number 170474 as, it, as amended. Um, my testimony is submitted. The Streets Department does not have any opposition to this encroachment. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Any questions? Anyone else here to testify on Bill Number 170474? Seeing none, Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170475, an ordinance authorizing WT Holdings, Restaurant Holdings, LLC, to install, own, and maintain an open-air sidewalk cafe at 743 South 4th Street, Philadelphia, PA, 19147, under certain terms and conditions. Good afternoon, Chairman Squill and members of the Streets and Services Committee. My name is St. Martin Torrance. I'm the Director of Legislative Affairs for the Department of Streets. I'm here to offer testimony on Bill number 170475 as amended. My testimony is submitted. The Streets Department does not have any opposition to this encroachment. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your question, uh, testimony. Any questions? Seeing none, anyone else here to testify on bill number 170475? Seeing none. Thank you. Um, Mr. McMonagall, please read the title of the next bill. Okay. Bill number 170400, an ordinance amending section 12-701 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Designation of bicycle lanes by authorizing the Department of Streets to designate a buffered bicycle lane in the eastbound direction on Chestnut Street from South 45th Street to South 34th Street and to remove a travel lane on Chestnut Street in the same limits under certain terms and conditions. Thank you. Could please state your name for the record and proceed with your testimony. Sure. Good afternoon, Chairman Squilla and members of the Street Services Committee. I thank you all for the opportunity to appear before you today. My name is Qasim Ali. I'm the acting uh, Chief Traffic Engineer for the Streets Department. I'm here today to offer testimony on Bill Number 170400, which authorizes the Department of Streets to designate a buffered bicycle lane in the eastbound direction on Chester Street from South 45th Street to South 34th Street, and to remove a travel lane on Chestnut Street for the same limits under certain terms and conditions. The Department of Streets supports this bill. We thank Councilwoman Blackwell for her support in this, on this measure. Thanks again for the opportunity to testify. A representative from the Office of Transportation and Infrastructure Systems is here, and we both would be happy to answer any questions at this time. Thank you for your testimony. Um, we would like to recognize uh, Councilwoman Blackwell, who is here, and I understand is uh, the Sponsor for Bill Number 170400. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. They beat me down. <laughs> <laughs> My community, my coalition, everybody. So we're happy to support it and ask the committee if you would as well. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Is there any questions? Seeing none, is there anyone else here to testify on Bill Number 170400? 
Hey, Councilwoman, uh, uh, Councilman Squillo, I'm uh -huh. Bob Praviti from, <laughs> <laughs> from Bicycle Coalition. I just want to thank Councilwoman Blackwell for her support on this bill. We want to make streets safe for all road users. I'm going to yield my time over to Maurice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Bob. Please proceed. Uh, good afternoon, um, Chairman Squillo uh, and the uh, committee. Uh, uh, Janie knows me well. Um, I'm the president of the Home and School Association for the Henry C. Lee School, and I'm also the president of, of Garden Court Community yes. Association. Um, we totally support uh, this bill to make the area that we live in safer. And as a, uh, a person that bikes in the area, along with my son and many of our residents, um, we totally support this bill and thank the uh, councilwoman for her support as well. Thank you. Just state your name for the record again. It's Maurice Jones. Thank you. Are there uh, any questions, Councilman Blackwell? Uh, we knew him when his son was a little boy. Now he's got to look up. We've known him a very long time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It sounds like it's a big love fest here today for the bike lane, so it's yes. great. Is there any questions? Seeing none, is there anyone else here to testify on bill number 170400? Thank you for your testimony. Mr. McMonagle, please read the title of the next bill. Bill number 170357, an ordinance authorizing Liberty Property 18th and Arch LP to construct, own, and maintain ancillary building encroachments at 1800 Arch Street under certain terms and conditions. And I believe, uh, please pr proceed to the... And this bill 170357 as amended will be testimony. Please proceed. So good afternoon, Chairman Squilla and members of Streets and Services Committee. I'm Sarah Chiu, City Planner with the Philadelphia City Planning Commission. I'm here to testify on Bill Number 170357, which was introduced by Councilmember Greenlee for President for Council President Clark on April 20th, 2017. Bill number 170357 would permit the construction of two ancillary buildings on the 1800 block of Arch Street. Each of the building measures approximately 16 feet wide and 7 feet 9 inches deep and approximately 10 feet in height, excepting the roof overhang. The proposed uses for the ancillary buildings are for displays and sales of newspapers, magazines, and periodicals, as well as the sale of the food and non-alcoholic beverage in connection with the buildings on the same block. At its meeting on May 16, 2017, the City Planning Commission recommended Bill Number 170357 not be approved because the Commission finds the proposed uses should be contained inside the building. This concludes my testimony. I appreciate the opportunity to testify before you today and be pleased to answer any questions you may have. Saying you want to proceed, then we'll have, if there's questions. Okay. Good afternoon, Chairman Squill and members of the Streets and Services Committee. My name is St. Martin Torrance and I'm the Director of Legislative Affairs for the Department of Streets. I'm here to offer testimony on Bill Number 170357 as amended. This bill authorizes Liberty Property, 18th and Arch, to construct, own, and maintain ancillary building encroachments at 1800 Arch Street under certain contempt Conditions as follows. The um, description is in the, my testimony, but at the end here, um, the Streets Department has not received any plans from the Liberty Property, and as such, we cannot at this juncture support these encroachments. Um, furthermore, we disagree with the placement of the new stands 13 feet from the Arch Street curb, as we require at least 18 feet from the curb line of all street furniture, which includes new stands. We understand that it will be a concession agreement negotiated with the city and in place before the ancillary, ancillary buildings open. We look forward to being involved in that process. Thank you for your time. This concludes my testimony. Thank you. Councilman Greeley? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Quickly, uh, I understand we're, we just have some amendments to this bill. Have you, have you seen them? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, I think the Comcast agreed to move the building 18 inches from the curb. Okay. Yeah, the commission is, uh, the commission's main concern is the proposed uses on the sidewalk. They feel there's already um, a lot of sales in the cross the street and building on the on both sides. So they feel that the magazine sales and all the beverage sales should be inside mm -hmm. inside okay. building. Now, yeah. saying I th I think you talked about the measurement, the the encroachment itself, right? Yes. Um, okay. 
so. So that takes care of that, yes. The um, amendments but, take yeah, care of. But um, I guess what our issue was that is the official submission of plans. Like we just can't just say, yeah, we got it. So once the plans are officially submitted, then we can go forward. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. But the amendment does address the, the it, measurement It addresses issue, that, right? that, that particular okay. issue, right. yes. But, thank you know, you. I'll, I'll keep I'll stop. Okay. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Councilman now. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. So, you know, could I just ask in simple terms, um, what I heard you say is that basically there's an opposition to this at this time? Well, not the, not the, planning commission. The, the planning commission has an opposition to the placement of the kiosk or the use of the, the kiosk? The uses. Not, th not the placement of the kiosk. Including the placement of kiosks. Yeah, they don't believe there's actual uses should be allowed on the sidewalk. Okay, so it's an opposition to the kiosk and its use. Correct. Okay, and then, I'm sorry, same, same thing? So, it's almost as if, you know, someone told you something they told us we have, we've had meetings and everything, we just haven't had the official submission of the plans. So That's what our issue is. Okay, so your issue is you need to actually receive the plan. Yes. And uh, separately, um, you're saying that there's a, the Planning Commission has an opposition to the placement and the use of the kiosk. Right. Okay. And is there some communications going on or is there anything anticipated quickly or are you just waiting for further information, at least on the part of the uh, uh, saint? I'm sure that after this, there'll be some communication, so. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you very much. Just wanted to be no clear, thank you. Yeah, yeah just Green. quickly, and, and just to address uh, part of what Councilman O was talking about, I know uh, Council President Clark's representatives have been in touch both with the developer and with the uh, with the city on this. So I, it sounds like it's getting worked out is the, I guess the, the best way I could say it. I'm not sure we're gonna, uh, they're gonna be able to uh, fully uh, please the planning commission because I think they have the problem with the, the use itself. But I think the, the encroachment of the use, I think can get worked out. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay thank thank you. you. Any other questions? Is anyone else here to testify on bill number 170357? Okay, thank you. Um, please uh, state your name for the record and uh, for testifying on the, the amended bill 170357 and proceed with your testimony. Great. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. My name is John Gattuso, Senior Vice President and Regional Director of Liberty Property Trust. Uh, we are the, developing the Comcast Technology Center at 1800 Arch Street and thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak to you today and to request that the committee act favorably on bill number 170357. Bill number 170357 permits us to place kiosks designed by the world-renowned Foster and Partners architecture firm to complement the design of the Comcast Technology Center on the sidewalk of Arch Street in the locations which would otherwise be occupied by newsstands. Our purposes in seeking this permission are to enliven the street and to enhance the pedestrian experience, and to do so with structures specifically designed to complement the adjacent building. Bill number 17357 has been carefully crafted to support these purposes. Section 3B allows the sale of food only so long as the kiosks are operated in connection with or as part of a mixed-use office, hotel, and or residential skyscraper. And section 3C requires that the utility service to the kiosks must be billed to the utility accounts of the adjacent building. We have engaged the firm of Pleasant News Incorporated to operate these facilities. Pleasant News, under its chief executive officer, 
Robert Nix III has deep experience in operating quality newsstands and food concessions at airports and other locations throughout the region. The Comcast Technology Center and its associated public improvements, including the extension of the suburban station concourse under 18th Street and through the new building out to 19th Street, represent an investment over $1.5 billion. We seek to protect and enhance that investment and to set a new standard in quality and design for Philadelphia for the high quality streetscape by providing a high quality service controlled by the adjacent building management uh, in the highest quality structure in the city. What we, uh, just to, to, to add as an addendum to my prepared remarks, I think there was a question as to, in one specific location, the structure coming within 13 inches of the curb, and we've agreed uh, through an amendment to uh, in, come into compliance uh, with the uh, Department of Streets requirement for 18 inches clearance. That's no problem uh, in that uh, meeting that uh, uh, requirement. The issue that was identified by uh, the City Planning Commission, though, we do take uh, a different perspective on. The initial inspiration and approach for what we're proposing today was uh, from our observations in many of the great cities of Europe where active uses were put on both sides of a sidewalk. Along Arch Street, we actually will have a 22-foot wide sidewalk, so it's a much wider uh, condition than one finds today along Arch Street. And the reason for that is that all along the building frontage, virtually the entire length of Arch Street will be a restaurant use. And then complementing that on the street side are these cafes. So individuals who may not either have the time or maybe even the financial resources to go to the restaurant can engage and get a, a light bite to eat or a coffee, a cafe, a cappuccino from the cafe that's sitting uh, on the street side of, uh, of, the, of the pedestrian walkway and, there, and then occupy and enliven the street along the south side of Arch. We view this block as very important because it connects the Logan Square neighborhood with the Central Business District. It is today uh, pre-developed and a very uh, much of a pedestrian dead zone. There is no real uh, vibrant uh, retail activity on the north side of Arch Street because there's a parking garage there. So what we're trying to do is create a pedestrian zone that is absolutely vibrant for the maximum number of days a year and really provides an elegant connection between the Logan Square neighborhood and the Central Business District. And that's the genesis of the design proposal and then the plan, uh, uh, this uh, ordinance that we have uh, requested today. We've worked with the city for almost three years on this. We have gone through three streets commissioners, I believe, in, in the preparation of this. Uh, our understanding was that that uh, having this bill enacted was uh, important before we could submit officially our plans to the streets department. Uh, but we have been in very deep dialogue, and they've been tremendously helpful over the last uh, two, two and a half years in uh, preparing uh, uh, this uh, design and this, uh, and this ordinance. Thank you. Thank you. You want to testify? <clears throat> uh, Tom Witt of Cozen O'Connor. Just to point out that in both sections two and section 4B, we are required to comply with all requirements of all city agencies, including streets, and to obtain all approvals and permits. So this bill would give us the right to go to streets and request the, the appropriate permits. Thank you for clarifying. Are there any questions, Councilman Now, Yeah, I, I just have a kind of a general question. Um, having no expertise in this area would be very helpful. So the Comcast Technology or Innovation Center that's currently being uh, built um, will bring a lot of people into that location. And I'm looking at the plan, and I do see that these kiosks are located across from basically open areas. But isn't there a lot of people in the building? Wouldn't that put people on the sidewalks? Why would, why would these kiosks for food or newspapers uh, enliven the block? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it already be enlivened by the tenants and visitors and other people that are occupying the building? Well, there's no question, uh, uh, Councilman, uh, and, and thank you for that observation, there's no question that uh, the addition of perhaps an, uh, another 4,000 people at that location will be an incredibly positive thing 
for the city in general, but specifically the immediate uh, activation of the streetscape uh, uh, along our street. But we have taken an approach at both the concourse level and at the street level to very uh, intentionally try to drive the maximum amount of activity. We think that's a very positive thing for the city. We think it's actually a very positive thing for the neighborhood. It creates a sense of uh, safety and, and well-being, uh, uh, that uh, people are not uh, the only one walking along uh, a, a stretch of uh, 400 feet. And so while there are a lot of people that will be coming and going into the building through the course of the day, uh, we also want to make sure we capture as much of them and hold them for as long a, a period of the day as possible. You can imagine that perhaps early in the morning, somebody coming to get a, a coffee and maybe sitting down reading the newspaper before going to work, or maybe they don't even work in the building. Maybe they're just there in the neighborhood. Or afterwards, uh, uh, along the street after the end of the work day, we've provided for street furniture as part of our project uh, so that people would linger and stay there and have a dinner and maybe a drink and enjoy themselves uh, for as deep into the you know, evening uh, as, as possible, again, to create that sense of, of activity. Our, our perspective on this is that by adding these two kiosks, particularly during the uh, uh, morning and, and, and middle of the day, uh, would help us uh, achieve that kind of activity. Uh, having a lot of people in an office building is no guarantee that you will enliven the streetscape. I think, unfortunately, there may be many buildings along West Market Street where you see that phenomenon. And so this is really an effort to, to try to capture that activity and, and have it... Uh, to uh, activate the street while, in fact, uh, you know, we are bringing 4,000 people and populating the building that's immediately adjacent. So. All right. Thank you for that explanation. Sure. Thank you. Councilwoman Bass. Uh, thank you. Hi. Hi. I just also, just following up on the Councilman's um, question, Councilman O's question, um, because it almost appears as if in some of the instances at the kiosks, force people into the street, not even on, you know, in the sidewalk. So, um, you know, I, I heard your explanation, but it just does appear from the uh, illustration here that uh, it looks like, you know, I could be perfectly fine walk, walking down the sidewalk and then I'm sort of forced into the street. Sure. If, if, particularly if the sidewalk is crowded. Uh, uh, Councilwoman, I, I uh, totally share with you the feeling that what, we, what one wouldn't want to create is a, a, a obstacle or a narrowing of the sidewalk in any way that would make it uncomfortable or push people, certainly not push people into the street. Current ordinance provides wherever there's a newsstand that there has to be a minimum of six feet of clearance. Okay. What we've done with this uh, proposal, we start with a sidewalk between the face of the building and the street curb, it's uh, 22 feet we maintain a minimum minimum clearance of, a, of the actual clear path of, of the walkway of nine feet. That's 50% more than it's required by uh, the current city code. We place these kiosks so that they are on the street side of that nine foot pathway. And, uh, and they're in a zone where uh, immediately adjacent to them would be trees and seating. So it's, it's in a zone that's not the pedestrian walkway area, if you will, uh, specifically so as to not create the phenomena that you just described, which we would find unacceptable as sure. well. Um, so th we've achieved this by pulling the building farther away from the curb on our street to widen the sidewalk to begin with, and then making sure that we've created a zone between the pedestrian walkway and the street where we place the kiosks uh, seating and trees, and the reason for that again is to create an even enhanced sense of uh, safety and well-being for the pedestrian as they walk along uh, the, the sidewalk, so they're not really up against the street. So that condition that we end up with is exactly the antithesis of what you were just envisioning. That okay. actually creates a, a very safe precinct for the pedestrian. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? Seeing none, is there anyone else here to testify on bill number 170357 as Thank amended? You. Thank you so much for your testimony. That will end our hearing. We will now go into committee. I'd like to recognize Councilman Greenlee. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move the adoption of the amendments that have been proposed to the following bills. Uh, amendments to Bill Number 170359, 170466, 170472, 170473, 170474, 170475, and 170357. I move the adoption of those amendments. Second. Second. Have moved and, amendments have been moved and properly second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. All amendments have been approved. Councilman Greenlee? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move that the following bills with those pro uh, appropriate amendments be reported out as a committee with favorable recommendation and the rules of council be suspended to allow for first reading or next session of council. Bill numbers 170359 as amended, 170466 as amended, 170360, 170361, 170362, 170472 as amended, 170473 as amended, 170474 as amended, 170475 as amended, 170400, and 170357 as amended. Uh, bills have been read into the record and properly second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. All bills read into the record have been approved uh, with the suspension of the rules to be read in the next council session. Thank you. Have a great day.